is up, YouTube? This is Airline Travel Comic Con coming at you with my Stanley's LA Comic Con 2017. Uh, so, uh, I had a, a great time. Uh, of course, you're going to have a great time going to the cons. The cons and pros, you know, I'll get to. I'll, I'll, let me, let's, let's start off with the, the bad. Alright. Uh, I think that. And I think this is for all cons. I think if you have people that are getting there early in the morning, you should be able to put them first. Uh, first day, I went there at 5 o'clock in the morning, you know, um, and just excited, was with some people that were there, some people that actually got there before me. And the way that they opened up to get into the convention, basically, I could have showed up at 10 o'clock and would have the same chance that I did to get where I was at in the beginning of the line. The beginning of the line. I understand the people who paid for the VIP, they get to 30 minutes early, that's cool and stuff, but everyone else, you know, it's and it's not hard, you know. Have the night security be like, you know, these people that showed up in the morning, have them go right here until, you know, people really start showing up and then you can just open it up. But anyways, besides that, uh, trying to get autographs uh, was, was pretty tough. Basically, you had to categorize them. I mean, you basically had to choose which one you wanted more and which one mean the most to you to get all of them. Uh, another thing that I didn't like was uh, CGC. I, I think any con that has a killer lineup, especially with Stan Lee. I think CGC should have their own booth. Instead of source it out to local LCSs who really don't have the manpower to help everyone at the con. Because, I mean, you have Stan Lee, you have uh, Tom McFarlane, Rob Liefeld, uh, uh, Sylvester, and you had uh, Campbell there, Capullo, uh, King, I mean, you have all these people, people want to get signatures, but you do not have the personnel to assist, you know, them with them, and it was just a mess, CDC was a mess, and I really wanted to get probably about six books, seven books graded, and I basically had to choose which with which which ones do I really want, you know? So, uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm sorry. I'm just thinking. Uh, <laughs> Freddie's know what I'm talking about because he was in the line. He was even getting getting a, a, a book graded. <laughs> uh, but um, yeah, it was just a mess. Uh, besides that, the cast was awesome. I mean, the 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 people that were there signing. Uh, the the event was uh, well thought out. The panels were awesome. I don't know if you guys got the chance to check the McFarlane and Stanley's uh, panel, but that was great. You know, uh, just sitting there listening to the talk was great. Uh, so it was great. I had a great time. You know. So uh, let's. With all that being said, first of all, I want to shout out to I did meet a couple of people there. Uh, I, I met Rig. Rig was in line. <laughs> we were both in line, and I, I had someone save my spot, and uh, I met up with Rig, and you know, gave him a couple of books. But just you know, just to make sure he was good. He's like, hey man, we tried to hang out, but things didn't pan out the way we wanted to, just because of the again autographs. You know, he was on a mission. I was on a mission. But knowing us, me and Rig would hang out within the next couple of weeks. So um, I also seen Freddy's. So I, I love meeting that guy. That guy is super cool. Uh, so glad to see him there. I also seen his brother there. Check his brother out on Instagram. If you have not seen his Instagram page, his brother, I mean, it's it's foxhound underscore comics. I, I would try to leave a link in the description to uh, so you guys can check him out. But his collection is sick. I mean, damn. <laughs> I really want him to have a YouTube page. But, I mean, just Instagram. His Instagram is sick. So, make sure you check uh, 
uh, Mr. Rick Mortis, Freddy's, and Foxhound underscore comics. So, dang, yeah. And uh, shout out to my little sister. I took my little sister to the con with me, so I was also trying to spend time with her. Uh, so that was great. She had a great time. So I'm happy she went. Uh, I'm happy she uh, decided to roll with me, her big brother. Uh, but yeah. So let's get into what, 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 what did I pick up? What did I pick up? So off the top, this is like I said, this is the third time I went to Stanley's uh, Los Angeles Con. I knew to go to the Hot Topic line. If they didn't, they, if they didn't have a Stanley's exclusive for that con, Hot Topic. And they didn't. They didn't have an exclusive for that con, so I went to Hot Topic. Because the line is crazy, crazy long. I mean, it's ridiculous. I'm talking, we're talking about like an hour and a half. But, so, when I was in a group with these other, these other guys who have, uh, they're in a Funko community too, um, really didn't get their information, but, you know, they're awesome. They're letting me know what was actually. So we were all going to go to Hot Topic. And one of the guys told me, hey, did you know Kevin Smith has signed Funko at Hot Topic? And I was like, no, I didn't, I didn't know this. I knew he had a uh, Kamikaze exclusive, but I didn't know there were signed. He was like, yeah. He showed me the post. He was like, he only signed 500. So I was like, really? I was like, all right, so we're all going to Hot Topic. <laughs> So, we all, when the doors open, we all rush, you know, bum rushing, going in line, you know, and we're, we're stressing, we're making sure, because you know, of course, the start of the con, the event people got their stuff, the vendors got their stuff, the VIP got their stuff, and then they passed out some before the actual people, so we were kind of sweating, but your boy end up pulling through and getting a fat man 483 Kevin Smith side Funko Pop. So that was super cool. Dang! I'm just looking at my time. I'm sorry, it took me seven minutes to show my first thing. But yeah. So, he was also there in a the panel. But this was so cool to get this. Uh, awesome. Can't wait to put that in a hard case. So when I was at Hot Topic, I learned... <laughs> Basically, I'm not going to get any Funko Pops that I can't get at Hot Topic. The stores outside, because they'll, they'll still have, till this day, till a week later, they'll, they will still have their exclusives. So, there's only a couple things I wanted to grab. Uh, the reason why I grabbed Ahsoka is because she was going to be there, and I was going to get her to sign it. But I ended up missing out. Sign it again. Anyways, uh, I picked this one up. This is Star Wars Rebel number 130. Dr. Soko. So the bag is the same. I don't think they changed it. I mean, I know they did a couple of things with her. But, uh, yeah. So I also grabbed Moon Knight. Now, this one right here was a con exclusive. They did release Moon Knight with the Kamikaze sticker. But you only can get the glow in the dark one at the con. So this is Marvel. This is 267 Moon Knight. So I did end up picking up uh, two more of these. And uh, these already have been called for. But yeah, so those are all the Funko Pops that I picked up. And I did get some autographs. So I do the comics that I picked up later, but I'll do some autographs. So, first of all, if you don't know, uh, if you haven't seen Riggs video, or both of his, when Kevin Eastman had his signings, he had these cards, and you buy these cards, you get your autograph, you know, you turn them in, autograph, you know, whatever, and you also get these two exclusive ones right here. Well... I was stuck in so many lines, I never got a chance to meet Kevin Eastman or get him to sign. So, I'm just keeping these, you know, um, as a reminder. 
But, you know, hey, you know, a lesson learned. So I'm not really tripping about that. I was like, you know, it's, it's kind of disappointment, uh, disappointing, but I know that I'm going to catch up on the flip side. So next thing, let me see. All right, so next thing, I ended up meeting uh, Mike Mayhew and had him to sign my Amazing Spider-Man 603 frame cover. He signed it right there. You know, he was telling me that he was in a rush because he had a, a deadline here. And uh, he had a, he didn't know how long he was staying at the con. So, I mean, I'm pretty, uh, it's pretty cool that I got him to sign it. I'm pretty bummed that Ray didn't get a chance to meet him. Uh, but I'm sure he'll be at another con in Los Angeles around our area. So, um, hopefully he doesn't get a chance to meet him. Uh, meet him. Um, but I did take a picture with him. I'll show you right now. I wish I would have took that little sticker off the comment, but, you know, there it is. So, next, they had, um, let's go, okay, they had Masters of the Sun comic book signing for the Black Eyed Peas. Um, the Black Eyed Peas are releasing a novel, and it's called Masters of the Sun. You can buy the novel, and you can get it signed by the, the whole Black Eyed Peas plus the artist, and the artist that worked on this was Damien Scott, he did a bunch of hip-hop covers, I, a lot of hip-hop covers, but I ended up getting that long line again, <laughs> and getting him to sign, so this is the whole Black Eyed Peas, uh, the cast, with the artist right here, uh, right here, Damien Scott, he ended up signing this, and I mean, this art on this is just crazy. I mean, I enjoy it. It's 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 just really, really just great art. So yeah, so that was awesome. And and oh my god, this is like I don't see me and you guys on the page. But for me, for me, for moi, this had to be one of the biggest things of the con because not only not not because of the per the person but something I never thought I'd be able to do. So when I was there in line, I was looking to see everyone's in there, you know, it basically is a big old party. And I see Redman. And I was like, whoa, Redman's there. So I had my sister hold my spot. I ran down to my car, had my whole hip hop box in there, pulled out two covers that Red Man, they did a cover swipe off of, and I actually got him to sign them, to actually sign his cover swipe of his hip hop cover. So right there, he signed Red Man 2017, and then right here, he signed Red Man 2017. He signed it upside down, but I don't care. I would I just never thought that I would get an artist to sign one of these books. <laughs> one of these books. So it's crazy. So I mean that was that was amazing. When I showed it to I showed him this, he was like, The Doc! And he because this is the Doc Tadazi. But he was like he was like, Oh snap, man. And he said he only seen these like a couple of times and then, you know, he hasn't seen them ever. He does have these books too. And he said he felt honored about him, like them choosing him to do a cover swipe, you know. And I was like, you know, I just tell him I'm I'm glad they did it. I did I did I did do one of the videos, I think, uh, for his one of his first albums or his first LP. But, yeah, so, it, it was amazing. That was crazy. So, what else did I do? So, you know, there's a couple hip-hop artists there. Hip-hop covers. So, people who did the hip-hop cover there. So, this one right here, this is Prowler number one. This one was done by Ray Anthony Heights. And he signed right there. He was a cool guy to meet. He was just talking about these are one of the first covers Marvel asked him to do. We can't wait to do more. So I had him sign in the book. 
so he sent it right there, and he's asked, he asked me where I wanted it. I said I wanted it on the original art. And he was like, oh, that's cool. He was, like, looking through the book, and he was like, man, I need to get me a book. <laughs> so that was cool. That, that was cool. He was pretty fun. I did take a picture with him, so you guys can check that out. The next, next artist that was there was Will Quinn and and he actually worked on U.S. Avengers number one, and he signed it right there. So that was cool. He he was actually a cool guy. He was just chilling, drawing. I was waiting in line for him to, to sign my stuff, and somebody was like, oh, is that a sketch you did? And he was like, yeah, it's a sketch I did. He was, they were like, oh, how much for the sketch? You know, how much for the sketch? And he was like, well, do you like this one? He was like, yeah, I love it. He was like, here, take it. And just gave it to him. <laughs> so that, I thought that was pretty cool. You know, so I was talking to him. He said he's he just got to California and he loves it. You know, he wouldn't trade it for anything else. So uh, I got, also got him to sign right here on the original art. So, that was awesome. I mean, he was a great guy. Uh, I didn't get a picture with him uh, because I was running around doing stuff. But, yeah. So then, I met Nick Classing. And he was there. He was from away from his booth, and he was promoting someone else. Uh, this guy was doing some singing, <laughs> this guy was doing some singing, a little, like, coffee shop singing style, uh, but, so, uh, I took a picture of him, he's supposedly supposed to be a serial killer on The Walking Dead, so you guys check that out, but when I met Nick, he was just himself, you know, he was straight chill, was just, he was like, oh man, one of the covers that started the hip hop covers. And yes, it did. These are one of the covers that started the whole run of hip hop covers because this is from Run the Jewels and they did it a couple of more times. And then from here, they just ran with the hip hop cover swipes. So he was the originator, one of the originators. But he was like, you know, you mind if I change Deadpool's face? I was like, go ahead. He's like, do you mind if I draw my cat? I was like, dude, it's it's your world, man. So he was just all on here, drawing all types of stuff, cards, you know. He's like, what's your name, Chambers? <laughs> Chambers Secret Secret Wars. I mean, so he just went all out and all crazy and was just doing whatever. And he also drew in the book, too. And he was just cool. He was showing me a bunch of crazy stuff that I can't even talk on YouTube. <laughs> but he was a great guy. He was just out there. And he was just himself, you know. And it's pretty cool to meet people with that personality that just either you like me or you don't. I don't care. So... That's it. I did get a picture with him, so you guys check that out. So, next. Next. <laughs> this guy, I, I was trying so long to get a hold of. Uh, this this artist, uh, Damon Scott, I only met him once, and that was during the Black Eyed Peas thing, but he wasn't doing his hip-hop covers. So I was bouncing from his booth, bouncing to the Masters of the Suns, because he was basically promoting that with the Black Eyed Peas all day. They had the concert that just ended up, ended at 1 o'clock in the morning. So it was just a crazy day for him. But I ended up meeting him at the Masters of the Sun. He was actually having a meeting with the big company because they do want him to do artwork for him. Uh, so he was he was meeting with Apple. So I hope it goes through. I hope I see some stuff on him. I hope I didn't ruin it by by saying anything. 
but he was meeting with the Apple, one of the Apple, you know, advertisement guys, and uh, he he actually was like, you know, talking to the guy. He was like, "Excuse me, let me help this fan out. He's been tracking me all the, all all week. I'm gonna hook him up." So that was crazy. I was like, "Oh wow, I don't want to mess with your money." But anyways, he ended up signing. This is Ben Riley's. Uh, the Scarlet Spider, number seven. So he did that artwork. Found it right here. Uh, this is one of my favorite hip hop covers. Uh, cover swipes. Uh, Uncanny in Humans, number one. I'm sign it right there. Uh, this is Great Lakes Adventure Avengers, number one. And he signed it right there. And all new in humans number five. This is a one out of fifty variant, and he signed it right here. So I did want to get a picture with him, but I didn't want to be a douche. And I did want him to sign in my my hip hop cover, but I didn't want to be a douche. You know, for him to bring up a meeting, just pause it for a second, just to sign a couple of things for me, was awesome. So I didn't want to overdo, <laughs> overstay my welcome. You know, hopefully. I meet him again. I'm pretty sure he'll do more hip hop covers, and he would keep promoting the Masters of the Sun with Black Eyed Peas. So, with that, those are all the signings I did. I did get a J. Scott Campbell signing, and I did get a Rob Liefeld signing, and I got a couple more signings. I submitted two books from CGC, so we'll just wait till that comes back so I can show you what I got signed. And the grades that it came back. One of the books is a book that I never showed because I never had it because I picked it up at the shop from my friend because he hooked me up with a deal. But let's show the books that I picked up. So I didn't want to go over my budget. You know, I wasn't really looking for any keys or anything like that. But I was looking for something that, you know, I want to get as many as I can. And I told you guys this. These are the frame covers. So I picked up a couple. So this is Thor 614. This is Secret Avengers number four. This is Incredible Hercule number 133. Dark Blue Marine number 17. This is the new Avengers number 56. This is X Men Legacy number 227. X Force number 18. Uh, this is Amazing Spider-Man number 603. I'm sorry, 602. I was thinking about that one. <laughs> Amazing Spider-Man 601. So I'm guessing they did 601. Probably did 600. 601, 602, 603. Uh, last but not least, I picked up Wolverine's Origin. Number 39. So those were my pickups. And I also picked up one thing. One last thing. So this company right here, <laughs> uh, they always they always have like crazy art. I think it's just funny. It's hilarious to me. It's so funny. So this is something, as soon as I've seen it, I knew I had to get. Uh, once I came home, I showed my wife, and she started laughing, and I was so proud of her that she knew what this was. But this right here, this is what I picked up. <laughs> this is Deadpool looking in the mirror at Green Lantern. And Green Lantern is sad. So basically, this is basically Ryan Reynolds because he played both characters in this this movie bomb. So that's why that's why he's he's sad. 
But they also had this, and they had a, a Batman right here with the Daredevil right here. So, and then they had something else. But this was the one that I had to grab. So, this I'm probably going to post that back here. But, yeah. That, so, that's everything I grabbed. I'm sorry this video ran long, guys. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, stay tuned. Make sure you check everyone out that I left a link to. Rig, uh, Freddy's562, and Foxhound underscore comics. Alright, you guys have a good one. Peace out.